Hi everyone, happy Sunday to all of you. So this is the 25th Sunday of Ordinary Time. We also call it Catechetical Sunday, uh, where we remember all the people who teach us our religion and help us on our journey of faith. So that's what today is. So think about people you see on the news or on TV or in magazines. And what, why, who are some of the people that are considered uh, great or very important in our world? Maybe like a president or king or queen or a movie star or a sports star, so many people. Why are they thought of as great or important? Maybe it's because these people have a lot of money or power or a special talent. In today's gospel, Jesus' disciples have an argument about who was the greatest among them. Listen carefully to hear Jesus' response. It might surprise you. So here we go. Um, a reading from the Gospel of Mark. May Christ's words be on my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. Jesus and his disciples went to Capernaum. And when they were inside the house, Jesus asked his disciples, what were you talking about on the way home? They didn't answer him because they had been talking about which one of them was the most important disciple. Jesus sat down and called the 12 apostles to come and sit with him. He said to them, if you really want to be the most important, you must treat everyone else as more important than yourself and you must serve all other people. Then Jesus put a little child in front of them. He put his arm around the child and said to his disciples, those who accept a little child like this because of me are also accepting me and those who accept me are really accepting the one who sent me, the gospel of the Lord. And we all say, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So what did Jesus tell his disciples would make them great? He said it was being a servant to all. You know, in Jesus's time, children didn't have any power and they had no rights. It's not like it is today where, you know, you you and your parents can talk about, you know, maybe what sports you want to be in or, you know, things that are important to you. Back when Jesus was around, children didn't get to have an opinion on anything at all. So it was very, very surprising that Jesus told the disciples that the children are great in the kingdom of God and that when they serve people, they have to serve them who are the least, what he said, are the least, like children. He also meant people who can't care for themselves, maybe the elderly, um, maybe you know people who are ill in some way. These are the people that Jesus wants us to serve and serve them like they are the most important people at all, of all. Jesus teaches us what is most important. It's not having the best things, or even being the best at something. When we freely and lovingly serve others, we are great in God's eyes. So with that, let's take a moment and pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. And our response is gonna be, Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, we pray for leaders in the world to be fair and just in all their decision-making. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For our community, we pray that we will be generous with our time to anyone who is in need in our community. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer, that we may always be Jesus's loving servants. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now let's just take a moment of silence and pray for those things that we hold in our hearts.
He prayed to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Let's finish today with the prayer that Jesus taught us, the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a wonderful week, everyone. God bless. Bye.